Hey everybody, Mark Lewis here. Thank you so much for joining me on the Financial Freedom Formula and the Finance Rebellion. Today we're going to be talking about why you want to set up a multi-member LLC over a sole proprietorship. A sole proprietorship is where your CPA typically sets you up, give you thinking that they think that you, it somehow gives you a benefit in asset protection, which it absolutely doesn't. It seems like it might give you a benefit in taxation, which it also absolutely doesn't, and maybe giving you a benefit in legacy preservation, which it clearly doesn't. Why do I say it doesn't do any of those things? Well, let's look at the facts. If you died and your sole proprietor LLC had assets in it, then all of those assets would go to probate in your state. That's no bueno. We, that's zero legacy preservation. For asset protection, if you got sued, it's very, very likely that the judge or the prosecuting attorney would just lop in everything in your sole proprietor LLC with your social slave number and say that you're really just being an alter ego of yourself and there's no protection there. And then of course, in the tax reduction side, although you do have deductions, you have those same deductions as a doing business as or an independent contractor. So why spend the extra expense of setting up an LLC just to have tax reduction? It doesn't make any sense at all. However, on the multi-member side, there's so many more capabilities that are available there that your CPA probably didn't set you up with because most of them don't understand how it works. Firstly, if you die in a multi-member LLC, the other members take up the slack and the assets in that LLC don't go to probate. They stay right where they are in the LLC. And then as an asset protection side, then the courts, the prosecuting attorney, even the IRS has to acknowledge that the other people are other actual owners with other control than you have. So it can't just be all you, especially if you're not in the bank account. Then in the tax reduction side, some very powerful things are available to you, including the ability to put assets into the LLC and have them returned to you via profits tax free. And if you're a passive member, not only is that possible, but you can also have profits returned to you as if you were an investor, a limited partner, and those can be returned to you as long-term capital gains. Once your money is sat in the LLC for a year and a day, long-term capital gains as of right now, the, the beginning of 2024 are taxed at 0% up to $44,000 and up to 15% on anything up to a half million. It's the best taxation in the United States and you can only get that in an LLC. Some really, really great things that are available in a multi-member LLC, but not everybody knows how to set that up and certainly your CPA almost certainly has no idea. So that's why I created the Incorporate for Freedom Masterclass over seven hours of instruction with me showing you how to set it up, how to do the bylaws and the minutes, which are required, how to stay compliant, how to do all the taxes, which is one of the major reasons people get blown up, and then how to make them lawsuit proof and deal with the contracts that hold it all together. That's available on the store, bit.ly slash FFF store. And right now, if you look in your email, you'll have a 20% coupon. It's also in the description of this video to be able to get $50 off the cost of that course. So I strongly encourage you to go check that out. If you're sort of a DIY kind of person, want to learn on your own at your own pace and set up your own corporate structure. Uh, I'm looking forward to talking to you with our next email and or seeing you in person and live every Tuesday through Friday on Instagram at 6 p.m. Pacific. Uh, Mark's Money Secrets, like all my social media, same handle, Mark's Money Secrets. I'll see you there.